big respect to all my supporters. Really appreciate you all. And if you want to see how I achieve this beautiful bowl of chicken back and chicken food soup, real Jamaican style, just come with me to the kitchen. Here I have some chicken foot. I already cleaned up a portion. And to clean up is simple guys, we're just going to cut the nails off. We just cut the nails off. And sometimes you'll find some stuff here, but these are all pretty. So no need to cut nothing there. And you just chop them like this. I'm going to put them in a container so we can clean up with vinegar. Here I have a two piece of chicken back too guys. And I'm just going to clean it up. We need to remove the things from here. This is all we remove from inside here, okay? I'll just cut these in three so we can get to get to wash with vinegar. Now I'm going to pour my vinegar. You can use vinegar and lime or vinegar. You can use both, you can, but you have to wash your meat to cut away the rawness, okay? And I'll wash this and then I'll return. Okay guys, to my washed meat, I'm going to add some salt and also some chicken seasoning. And we just season this while our water boil, okay? Then we can add them in the boiling water. And here is a run through of some of my ingredients. Here I have thyme, scallion, garlic, carrot, Irish potato, celery, I'm using two stalks, chocho, dasheen, my pumpkin noodle, and my yam and my beautiful piece of pumpkin and all the ingredients will be listed below and here I'm adding my seasoned meat to my water because it's already boiling I'm going to peel my carrots You can use your peeler or you can just use a knife. You can use a peeler or you can use a regular knife, guys. I'm just going to peel these. I'm just going to cut my pumpkin so I can put it in my pot so we can boil to get the color okay the pumpkin has to give it that pretty color guys going to put these along with the meat so they can boil together okay there's my chicken foot and chicken back boiling away I'm just going to add my pumpkin so they can boil together
cover and allow to boil, okay? Time to cut our carrot, guys. This is how I like mine, just chunky, okay? Just cut the celery. Celery gives the soup a nice flavor. So that's why I like putting in celery when I'm cooking soup. It's not a must if you don't have it, but if you have it, please use it, okay? And I'm just going to use a small piece of the um the chocho. And the chocho will just slice. So we can cut in chunks too. Later. Just cut some big chunks, okay? Yeah. And guys, we can't make soup without dumpling, so I'm just going to add a small amount of flour so we can make some spinners. I'm not going to make any big dumpling today. I'm just going to make some spinners. And I like putting in cornmeal in my dumpling. And we add salt. And with clean hands, we combine. Combine and add water to make a dough. Okay? Someone tell me that they want to see how I make the dumpling, but I had seen a video, but they didn't. They still requested it. They still requested it, so here I'm making dumpling. Okay, this is the process. If you are not secure with using your hands, guys, you can use a spoon or a good spatula. But the hand, this is the best tool, okay? Now we're just going to mix until we get a nice, nice soft dough. I'll come back to that. This is the texture that you're looking for. Not too hard, not too soft. The texture, this is just right, okay? And we're going to cover this until when we're ready for it. Now I'm going to add the rest of veggies. And allow them to boil. Okay guys, here I have my dashin and my yam and I'm going to peel those so we can add to our pot. Here is our dashin already peeled and I'm just going to cut in some chunks so we can add to our pot. And we repeat the step, same step for the yam to cut. Cut in size according to our likings, okay? And we add these to our pot immediately. Now let me add my yam and my dashin. And I'm very pleased with this pumpkin today. So no run. Just I'm going to let this boil while I make my spinners. Okay guys, for the spinners, we take a small amount of the dough and we rub it. 
with both hands until it becomes like a lag okay and we repeat the steps just rub it okay now we're going just going to stir and allow this to cook a little then we can add our noodle or scallion thyme pepper and adjust taste okay let's add some corn guys these are frozen corn and i'll just add them to my pots okay i'm going to add my season here i'm going to add my thyme my scallion some pimento seeds and my scotch bonnet pepper and I also have some cloves I'm going to use them to pierce my pepper it's easy just pierce like this okay So you the it won't be hot but it will still bring out the flavor yeah and we put it in here I have my noodle guys I'm going to use maybe a half of it because this is pumpkin soup and my color already have pumpkin and most of this you know what it is already just salt so I'll use that amount And I'll just stir and allow everything to marry, then we can serve. Okay. And here is our soup, guys rich and tastes good too my chicken back and chicken food soup real jamaican style okay now we can serve and here you have it guys and here i've come to the end of another video guys hope you guys enjoy watching this video try making this soup and if it's the first time you came across my channel please consider subscribing and until next time guys stay safe stay blessed bye for now mm -hmm.